Ahoy, shipmates. It's a lovely morning here in the port of Southampton. Slightly overcast. But no wind. I thought we'd have a look at the lovely Queen Victoria. Arriving at the port of Southampton. may be asking yourself, where has she been? Well, let's have a look. She was in the Bay of Weymouth. Took a little steam back through the channel. Around the Nav Anchorage. Up through the Solent. Into port. Well, I normally like to get a bit more footage of the ships coming in, but alas, I was a, a little tardy getting out of my hammock this morning. From the Bay of Weymouth, the Queen Victoria arrives, and the Bay of Weymouth is very busy. I still need to get down to the bay and have a look. Currently, in the Bay of Weymouth, there is the Arcadia, the Aurora, Queen Mary II, the Azora, and the Britannia. Hopefully they're all socially distancing themselves in the Bay of Weymouth. And you can see the creepy toy arriving here. I've sped this footage up in case you didn't realise it. You can see her arriving here and on, on the right is the famous Dock 44 where the Titanic made her fateful maiden voyage. Well, recently, the Britannia has been docking here on this dock. But for some reason, the Britannia always docks the other way around, the bow out. And Queen Victoria seems to dock in, bow in. I don't know why there's a difference in docking styles. Perhaps a fellow shipmate can let me know why. There are some reports in the press that Cunard is considering restarting cruises for the 1st of August. With the Queen Mary II and the Queen Victoria. And September the 9th for the Queen Elizabeth. Initially, they were hoping to restart sailings in the middle of May, but that's not happened. I've zoomed in a bit here, so that we can get a closer look at the shore hands tying up the ship. I believe there's a line's been thrown across. There you go, you can just see. There he goes, pulling the lines to shore. There will be many lines holding the Queen Victoria to the dock. I'm not sure what the protocol is, number of lines per gross tonnage. Speaking of gross tonnage, how much does the Queen Victoria gross tonnage? And that's 90,000 gross tons. The Queen Victoria also has Azipod drives, which essentially propellers on pods at the stern of the ship. And that's how you can see the water coming, being disturbed on the starboard side of the vessel. That's due to the azipods swinging around underneath. The advantage of azipods, it uh, removes the need for stern thrusters. And my understanding is it gives a little more degree of control over to the ship's maneuverability.
294 metres long. And that beam is 32 metres. Height is 62 metres. I can see another line coming ashore. I'm guessing they're quite substantial ropes and probably quite heavy. Top speed of the Queen Victoria is 23.7 knots or 43.9 kilometres an hour for you continental types. 27.3 miles per hour in Queen's language. She has a typical service speed of 18 knots. Capacity is 2,081 passengers with a crew of 900. It's a Thursday today in the port of Southampton and it is the last day for our clap for our carers at 8pm on a Thursday night where People in the UK come out onto their front door and clap away. Here in the Port of Southampton we hoot for our helpers with the ship horns blasting away. We only have a couple of cruise ships in port but nevertheless it might provide a pleasing tones to the evening's applause. This particular part of the stern was uh, changed during a refit. The refit was in 2017, in May. And you can't see it from this position, but I, I might have a little move around and show you. It changed the look of the ship instead of having a slender tailing stern. The Cabins were added, making the stern more upright. Less elegant, but it allows more cabins. In fact, I'll just shuffle around here and give you a view of the stern. Sort of see the blockiness of the rear rather than the more elegant sloping shape. But anyway, time for a picture. Oh, the early morning sun is lighting up the side of the vessel, pleasingly there. Well, unfortunately, it's about time to return. This battery is almost done. Until next time, shipmates. No, only joking. There's another one. It's like the buses at the moment. Constantly arriving. And again, arriving from Weymouth Bay. It's the Ventura. I noticed that she took a very similar course to the Queen Victoria, but not as fast. Definitely much slower in the channel. Probably straighter as well. And she goes round the nav up from the salt water into dock.
Ah, the Ventura was hot on the heels of the Queen Victoria, which you can just about see on the coming into the side of the screen on your left. There was only a, a few minutes separating them coming up Southampton Water. Just time for me to catch both. And there's one little cruise ship that's just disappearing behind the Ventura. And that is the Silver Spirit. The Ventura is the second of the largest ships in the P&O Cruises fleet. She is registered in Hamilton, Bermuda. Launched in 2007. Photo opportunity here. It's very bright this morning. Well, that's not too bad. The glare off the water is very bright. in June of 2007. I think the swimming pool is empty on the front there. I'd like to believe that that's a swimming pool for crew only, but uh, I'm not sure on this ship. deck. And it looks like the top swimming pool is also empty. Now, considering there's a number of crew on board, you would have thought perhaps they were, would allow them to have a quick swim. And perhaps that doesn't fit in with the uh, social distancing. ships return to port. There are lots of passengers on the top waving and taking pictures and taking in the views. It's a very surreal experience to see them empty, just like in you. <coughs> oh, blimey, there's a bit, of a bit of smoke coming my way. <laughs> Just the Ventura has a little puffing problem. It weighs in at 116,000 gross tons. That was a fair bit heavier than the Queen Victoria. Length of 291 meters. Beam of 36. Oh, I thought perhaps we'd have a little view from the shore. Let's see how wonderfully flat the water is this morning. A bit rusty on the bow where the anchor is. I'm guessing the anchor is getting a lot of use at the moment. make out the plume of pollution coming out the top. Of course this is sped up footage. That just gives you an idea of how close the ships are to the shore. This, this is uh, Mayflower Park in Southampton, a particularly good vantage point for ship spotting. Some cruise ships and dock 
here at the city terminal and others dock at the uh, cruise terminal, which is where the Queen Victoria is. And if you're particularly interested, you often get a good view of container ships coming past. But I know that container ships are not to everyone's fancy. Difficult to make out, but I'm pretty sure the rear swimming pools are also empty. You can certainly see the rear of the Ventura. That's a very different rear to the Queen Victoria, sort of a slight slope forwards. It appears to overhang backwards. There are 19 decks, 14 of which are passenger decks. Certainly looks complicated to navigate your, your way around this ship. Top speed is uh, 21.7 knots, 40 kilometers an hour, 25 miles an hour. And capacity is 3,192 passengers. for a picture. I must say the water's looking very blue this morning. Some mornings the water is really green. It certainly changes shade a lot. But it's very blue this morning. Almost Caribbean in hue. The Ventura is designed to be a family-friendly cruise ship. There is a family-friendly swimming pools and play areas. It also has an appearance of the children's character Noddy. I was surprised that children today would even know who Noddy was. She's steaming into the ports now. Up to the far end is her berth. Uh, the question will be, will she be berthing starboard side or port side? I think my money is on port side. So I expect to see her reach the far end where the swing ground is and swing around come back and dock I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit I think she slows down as she gets to the end. Apparently there are nine full service restaurants on board the Ventura. Marco Pierre White oversees the White Room, which is a fine dining restaurant. He's also created menus for the Beach House which is a 24-hour buffet-style family restaurant. There are three main dining rooms on the Ventura. The Bay Tree, Saffron and Cinnamon. And these have sittings at 
And 8.30 in the evening. Yes, I think my suspicions are correct. It's going to be port side to dock. So she certainly turns round at a fair speed. I know this is speeded up, but uh, even in real life, it's fairly nippy. There is a large atrium in the central hub of the ship, which can be accessed for all the public areas. It is designed with four imposing pillars of black Indian granite and two glass panoramic lifts. The Metropolis on deck 18 has a 20 meter floor to ceiling video wall displaying dramatic cityscapes allowing passengers a city view as they relax with a drink and listen to live music. Well, I could offer them a dramatic city view of the city of Southampton. I wonder if they'd be interested with a view of the city they're about to arrive in or depart. Combined power rating for the Venture is 42,000 kilowatts. Hmm, I think, as I said, the number of crew on board is 1220 and the passengers are 3080 which seems like a reasonably decent crew to passenger ratio where the Ventura's docking is not a conventional cruise ship Stop. Normally this would be reserved for good ships and bulk carriers and rows. The city cruise ship terminal is, is just to the right of our screen, which sees cruise ships dock. Well, I'm guessing as there are no passengers getting on or off, it doesn't need to be at the cruise ship terminal. There'll be another cruise ship arriving later. Oh, she's almost at the dock. So, till next time, shipmates. Ha, <laughs> holy kidding, back again. I thought you might be interested in watching one of the Ventura's tenders. Tender number 19. Taking a quick trip between the Ventura and the Queen Victoria, apparently shuffling some crew around. Take a little snap. Yeah, very 
tidy looking. And you can just about see the 19 on the bow. Normally these tender vessels are used to deliver passengers to the shore when the ships cannot dock at the quayside. Some of the locations are on special islands tend not to have enough water, enough draft to allow the cruise ships to get close. So the cruise ships will drop anchor in the bay and use the tenders to shuffle the passengers to and from the shore. I've been noticing in Weymouth Bay they've been shuffling lots of crew between ships. I don't know if they've been shuffling goods from shore perhaps as well, or if they come to Southampton to collect their goods. As with the hundreds of crew on board, I imagine they certainly get through the potatoes and the carrots. I'm just going to follow this little chappy, tender number 19, as he buzzes around the port. About to make a left any moment now, I would hope. There we go. Turning to port, over to Queen Victoria. enjoyed that shipmates and turned out to be a rather long video and for this time it really is the end of the video until next time shipmates <laughs>